What is an electric field? To explain this, I will take the help of an example. Imagine you have a point which is at a higher temperature than its surrounding. This point, like any other point, like anything else, it should have more temperature than its surrounding, will start radiating heat. As a result of this, the points which are relatively closer to this point would have a higher temperature than the points which are much further away because the energy would have to travel through a larger distance and the energy would get dissipated in the way. An electric field is slightly similar. Now we have this charge Q having Q coulombs and let this red dot be a test charge Q0. Uh, an electric field is defined as the area around a charge around, with, around which its influence can be felt. Now, now as I move this red dot closer to the charge it would experience a stronger force and as I move the charge just charge further away from the dot it would experience a weaker force. Electric field can be given by, the, by this very simple formula E bar is equal to F bar by Q naught where E bar is the electric field F bar is the force experienced by the charge by the test charge and the Q naught is the charge carried by the test charge. Electric field can very easily be, def, uh, be depicted using something called electric field lines. For a single charge Q, electric field lines are straight lines extending radially outward, outwards in all directions. For a positive charge, the electric field lines would all be extending away from the charge, while for a negative charge, all the electric field lines would be coming towards the charge. Considering this example where I have two charges, over here I have a pair of positive charges and over here I have positive and negative charges, electric field lines behave differently. Since this is a positive charge, electric field lines go away from it and since over here we have a negative charge, all the electric field lines go towards it. Uh, now let us imagine I have a point charge in an electric field. The point charge in an electric field is given by the formula F bar is equal to Q E bar. Now this formula is a rearrangement of the previous formula that we saw. Only Q naught is substituted by Q. Uh, this has various applications such as inkjet printers. In inkjet printers, a negatively charged ink drop moves between two conducting deflecting plates between which a uniform downward directed electric field is set up. As a result of this, the drop is deflected upwards and the ink drop lands in the paper which is positively charged and uh, this cause, uh, from this we can print stuff very quickly. Over here is the Millikan's oil drop experiment. This is a very crucial experiment and a breakthrough in discovering the elementary charge of an electron. Uh, over here, using several thousand volts and connected to the earth is a uniform electric field. Over here is a fine atomizer through which oil droplets are uh, oil droplets are sprinkled onto this charge plate, and a microscope was used to find out at what distance the charge is balanced. Uh, by calculating, it was found out that this charge on the oil droplet was always integral multiples of 1.6 into 10 power minus 19, which is the value of the elementary charge. There is one more super exciting, super interesting application of point charge in electric field. This is used to explain a natural phenomenon. Uh, most of you think this is lightning, but no, this is not lightning. This is much more interesting. Over here is the volcano Sakurajima. Uh, this volcano is located in Japan. The strange thing about this volcano is not only along with, uh, not only does it spew lava, it also sends out electric bolts. While this photo looks really cool, it's actually really dangerous. Uh, most of you may ask, is this phenomenon the same as lightning? Uh, I would reply that this is similar, but it's not exactly lightning. Lightning is a buildup of static between the clouds while uh, I would be explaining this now. When liquid water inside the volcano is suddenly converted to steam by the flow of hot lava, this steam generates enough energy to shatter the rock around it. This causes an explosion of the volcano and ash to be spewed all around. The liquid to steam conversion and the, uh, and the ash explosion causes positive charges and negative charges to separate. As the steam and ash are spewed into the air, they form clouds that contain positive charges 
and clouds that contain negative charges. As these pockets grow in size, the electric field between them also increases in magnitude. When, this mag when the magnitude of this electric field reaches 3 into 10 power 6 newtons per coulomb, air undergoes electric break uh, breakdown and starts conducting electric current. Over here, the conducting paths appear in air where the electric field has managed to ionize the, some of the molecules in air, freeing some of their electrons. These electrons are propelled by this electric field and they collide with the air molecules in their way and this causes these air molecules to emit light. Along with these brief paths, we can see sparks because of the lights they emit like this. The sparks are generated while moving from the positive to the negative charge. And over here we can see this stunning phenomenon. Uh, over here in this particular volcanoic uh, spark generation, the, uh, the, uh, the bolt moves from down to up. If you see a normal lightning bolt, it initially starts off on top and then starts branching towards, uh, branching as it goes downwards. Over here though, it starts off as a thick line in the bottom and starts branching as it goes upwards. Using this branching, we can tell whether a lightning, whether lightning or electric sparks are directed upward or downward.